This is Pete Lukowski from AmateurGolf.com here in Carlsbad, California for our June update. Our featured course this month is the Aviera Golf Club at the Four Seasons Resort, and we'll talk to head professional Rennie Brown as well as Kit Pewterbaugh of the Aviera Golf Academy. We'll also review some of the May events and take a look forward into June. And, of course, the exciting thing here in San Diego is the U.S. Open. We'll talk a bit about that. But before we do that, let's go back to a trip we made to Fort Worth, Texas, home of our longtime sponsor, UST Golf Shaft, and the Crown Plaza Invitational at Colonial Country Club. I'll tell you what, last week in Atlanta was a big surprise and, and really good for UST. Uh, we worked with Rakeith Goosen on the new product last week and an active core product, a counterbalance product. And uh, a lot of you don't know, but uh, Rakeith does use lead tape to counterbalance his club. So I just, I just talked to him about uh, with the design already had a counterbalance uh, profile in it and, and love him to try it. Sure enough, he took it out on the course, built two drivers, and, and played pretty well. And he's in Europe this week uh, with those two drivers in the active core. So things like that, uh, you, you never know when things like that are going to happen because he doesn't play over here that much. But uh, Retief's a world-class player, and we're glad to have him in UST. Well, I'll ask you a little bit about one of the companies that sponsors you, that actually sponsors our website, AmateurGolf.com, UST Golf Shaft. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got to think that you're hitting it straighter using the Pro Force V2. Is that helping you on the par fives? Oh, definitely. You know, it's uh, it's nice to be able to step up there and uh, give the the tee ball a little bit extra, knowing that the shaft's going to be stable and, and uh, allow you to swing harder and, and still keep the accuracy. And then, uh, obviously, with the uh, I have the three woods and the the, th the five wood my rescue with the, the shaft as well. So. It's again, you know, it allows you just the freedom to be able to, if you need to, hit one hard and know the shaft's going to stay there with you and, uh, you know, hit the shots that allow you to make all those eagles. I'm not that great at the rough, so that's uh, obviously using that shaft has allowed me to hit a lot straighter and that's, uh, you know, without sacrificing distance. So it's uh, it's a win win everywhere and, uh, it's, as I said, it allows you to have the eagles and the, and the good scores. San Diego is getting ready for the U.S. Open. And while Rod Pampling secured his position with a tied for second finish at Colonial, many others were hoping to advance through sectional qualifying. Yeah, I think the best thing about our Open is that it's an Open. I mean, there's going to be 90 plus spots available to whoever can enter, get through the qualifying, and you get a chance to tee it up. Some of the other Opens are a little bit closed in that matter. Um, and our U.S. Open allows you the opportunity to play your way in, but I wouldn't have to play my way in just like everybody else. Or win one here, maybe? And oh, yeah. I, could, I can play my way into the world rankings. You know, let's say winning this week would be great. But the reality is is that, you know, if there's a qualifier in Memphis and you go play your 36 holes and, you, and if you survive, you're in. Uh, I have qualifying to Memphis, uh, tour site. I'm not sure how many spots there are. Probably around 15, 20. So uh, it's going to take a couple of good rounds to get in, but you know, it would be awesome if I, if I could pull it off. Good news. And we just want to thank you for staying amateur. <laughs> Tried to do that for a while. I know. I'll be here for a few years, yeah. Jamie Lovemark. I'm Rennie Brown. Welcome to the Four Seasons Resort Aviar. I'm the head golf professional here. And again, I'd like to welcome everybody. Uh, we've got a beautiful 18-hole championship golf course, Arnold Palmer Design, that opened in July of 1991. Uh, soon thereafter, followed by the Four Seasons Resort Aviara that opened in August of 1997. So we've got a true destination luxury hotel and golf resort. We also have the uh, the Aviara Golf Academy by Kip Pewterbaugh, uh, annually ranked as one of the top 25 golf academies that you can uh, visit and hone your skills. Um, also Kip and his staff of eight instructors, uh, Kip is annually ranked as a top 100 teacher uh, or instructor by Golf Digest. I think it's hard to find a facility like Aviara where you've got plenty of grass tee space to run the schools we have. Uh, a private facility so the other players and uh, participants here at the Four Seasons are not here. Uh, it's all exclusive to us plus the building we have downstairs it makes for a very convenient and opportunity for us to do a very good job with players to, uh, to learn the game. Chris Marine of Monterey won the Monterey Bay Championship at Bayonet Black Horse on Memorial Day weekend with a two-day total of three over 147. He vaulted to the number one position on the AmateurGolf.com Tournament Series points list for 2008, overtaking Randy Haig, who couldn't play the tournament due to a bad back. Martin Trainer, the reigning San Francisco City champ, shot 149 to finish in solo second, 
while Rob Schneider won the senior division title by one, and first-time AmateurGolf.com competitor Jason Savorn of Rancho Marietta won a card off over John Steinberger of Concord for the net crown. Although the newly opened Black Horse back nine still has some grow in left, it is very playable right now and really fun watching the construction take place on the front nine. No doubt about it, fairway bunkers have joined the famous ball-catching trees as things to avoid when playing Bayonet Black Horse. Another tournament held over the Memorial Day weekend was a Golf Week points event at Ansel Hoffman Golf Club in Carmichael near Sacramento. And Chris Polsky of Eugene, Oregon won the tournament at 210. Derek Ernst finished second at 212, and Kent Yamani and Domingo Giajola shot 213 to tie for third. Amateur tournaments on tap for June include the Sunahanna Amateur in Pennsylvania, June 5th through the 8th, the British Amateur, June 16th through 21st, California State Amateur, June 16th through 21, and in Georgia, the Dogwood Invitational on June 25th through 28th. Look for coverage of all these events on www.amateurgolf.com. And until next month's update, this is Pete Lukowski.